My name's Kevin Megson. Um, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, locally advanced prostate cancer, in October 2006. And the treatment we decided was best for me was the radical prostatectomy, removal of the prostate. I was aware of the consequences, I was made aware of them. However, at the time, the most thing you want is get rid of that cancer. Everything else is secondary. Everything else can be dealt with at a later date. The, the, the initial thing is, for me, was get that cancer out, get rid of it. Um, my consultant explained that in doing so, it would radically alter how things operate for a while, um, that I would possibly be incontinent, um, that I would almost certainly have issues with um, erectile problems. Although I was told what I would have, you really still don't still quite understand what all that means. Um, to be catheterised and have to go to the loo and all the little things that that encompasses, it was just a whole change. I've never been in that situation before, so absolutely alien to me. Um, my recovery was good. Within eight weeks, I was back at work. Within probably four weeks, I was sat at home on the laptop or computer working from home. Although I didn't suffer badly from incontinence, this, you certainly can and do leak for a period of time. If I was playing golf, for instance, and you go to take a, a swing or perhaps bend down to pick a ball, it could be something, it could be a laugh, it could be anything that's after that, and you, you get a slight release. After six weeks after, after the operation, I had um, PSA taken, and my PSA had actually risen. Um, it should have been at zero, or certainly very low, and it, it wasn't. Therefore, it was decided that I would have to go into hormone therapy. Since that period of time, I've either been on a holiday from, from the hormone therapy, or I've been on the hormone therapy, and that continues today. My family have helped me greatly during my journey um, with prostate cancer. My wife, it's helped me enormously because really she's had to make as many changes to her life as I've made to mine. Um, she's helped me greatly come to terms with what I've got. And we have moved on and occasionally um, it will rear its ugly head. And why me and why? But it's not something I think about every day, for sure. It's something that affects both of us, of course, sometimes. less less than it used to do, I would, I will say that. Anybody who's, anybody who's been diagnosed now and they're starting on this rocky road, because it is a rocky road, um, it will have peaks and it will have troughs and good times and bad times. Our life is just taking a different road now, that's all I would say, is that you know life is one long road and we've just gone down, we've been sidetracked a wee little bit, perhaps sooner than we would have liked to have been, but nevertheless, we are still lucky compared to lots of other people.